Welcome back to Speechers Corner. I'm Adam Speechers. All right, today's topic is the difference between being wanted versus being respected. Now, you should want both. The two are not mutually exclusive, but the foundation of a relationship should be built on respect. Just because somebody wants you, like is attracted to you or wants to date you, does not automatically mean that they respect you. Some people get confused with the respect and being wanted. So just because somebody wants you, wants to date you, uh, is attracted to you, does not necessarily mean that they respect you. Some people just assume that just because you're dating somebody or just because someone else wants you, that they automatically respect you. It's not a given. Everybody wants to be wanted. Everybody wants to be wanted by somebody, but you should want that person to also respect you first. So how do you know if somebody respects you? All right, so we're gonna apply the Rawlsian view of the veil of ignorance here. So pretend you're a third party looking at your own relationship off from a distance, not really knowing any of you. Would it be obvious to this third party who's observing and looking in at your uh, relationship, would it be obvious that they respect you? Or would you have to make a lot of excuses for your partner, trying to put situations into context for the third party and saying things like, well, you just don't really know us. Well, if you really knew them, then blah, blah, blah. If you have to do that, that's probably a good indicator that your partner lacks some respect for you, which is not a great thing to realize. Do they care about your time? Do their actions produce consequences for you? Do they care about your relationship with your friends? Do they celebrate your successes? Do they care about supporting you in your goals? If not, it doesn't matter how successful the other person is, how smart they are, how attractive they are, how popular they are, they lack respect for you. And don't hold on to what they say, pay attention to what they do. Oftentimes, people that lack respect for their significant others will say things that the other person wants to hear, the I love yous and all that sort of thing, and that's what the other person holds on to, but they don't treat them with respect. So you have to look at their actions, not necessarily what they say. The next question you should ask yourself is, how do I get other people to respect me? Or how do I get this someone to respect me? Well, there are three ways. The first thing that you have to do is respect yourself, because if you don't respect yourself, nobody else will. It will be obvious that you don't respect yourself, and the types of people who prey on people who lack low self-esteem and don't respect yourself, you're going to attract those people. If you don't care about yourself, nobody else will. You must value yourself. To respect yourself means that you have boundaries, and then you communicate those boundaries. And then that other person needs to respect those boundaries. If they don't respect your boundaries, they don't respect you. Because like I've said in another Smeester's Corners, which if you haven't watched the one on boundaries, you should, having boundaries means you respect yourself. That's a sign of respect. Number two, have goals. Work towards something, don't just exist. If you don't have goals, you will be easily manipulated because you don't have a path or a direction or a purpose. So when other people that are just looking out for themselves come along in your life, it's easy to pull you in a certain direction because you have no direction. And then what can happen sometimes is the direction that they pull you in looks like a direction for you. So you head in that direction too, not realizing that the direction they're pulling into is all about them, not you. When you have goals and other people start to pull you off your path, you can recognize that easily, and it's easily correctable. Again, if you don't have a path, any direction that anybody else pulls you into can be mistaken for a path, or can feel like a path, and the narcissists of the world can manipulate you onto their path more easily. And the last one, number three, be somebody worth respecting. Behave in a respectable way, all the time, not just when you think it matters, because other people watch all the time. And the times where you don't think your behavior matters, it's gonna matter to other people. Look respectable. Respond to other people in a respectable way. Treat people with respect. No excuses. And take responsibility for the things that you've been tasked in your life to take responsibility for. Take responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for your education. Take responsibility for the things around uh, your world that you're supposed to take responsibility for, like tasks around the house, your relationship to your friends, your relationship to your family, your job. If all you want in life is to be wanted, 
It will be obvious to others and you won't be pursued by respectable people. You will be pursued by people that to be with would be a mistake. So I hope the distinction between these two helps. Thanks for watching.